Mary is back. But even that's less of a shock to Spice watchers than the fact that Mel C has signed up for the reunion. I'm really surprised that the reunion um, is happening because um, I never thought I'd see Melanie Chisholm be in the Spice Girls again. I interviewed her recently and, and, and she was like, no, it's not going to happen. Being the girl who stubbornly refused the comeback for the longest is a far cry from Mel C's role during the birth of the band. Melanie, who, was, who was I share a room with, she's really, really, really nice. She like calms everybody down. She's like a bit of a peacemaker, but she's really funny as well. Mel C was the most diplomatic of the bunch. She was the one who cared about what everybody thought and how everybody was feeling. Everyone says in the group that I'm a peacemaker. Tom Fields always said that. But because I don't like confrontation, if there's a problem, I like to get it dealt with. But I think that some of the others go about it in the wrong way. She just neutralised everything. If anything was kicking off or people were fighting or arguing or whatever, you know, she was just the, the, the calming factor. While Mel C had a steadying hand on the band's more volatile elements, telltale signs from the early days marked her out as the one least prepared for the madness that would follow when Spice Mania took hold. Right, last couple of days, I don't know whether it's just me, right, but last couple of days, I, like, I've been waking up and like, I've had this really, really like, scary feeling that I don't know who I am. Oh, then, do you feel like I'm losing my identity? Do you know what I mean? And I have to remind myself, like, who I am. Not your Melanie Chisholm, I mean, like, just the way I am. If you go into this industry, you really have to know who you are. Otherwise, you'll never come out the other side as a sane person. You, you know, you, you can get destroyed. And I think for Mel, the way she was a deep thinker and thought about everything and repercussions, uh, I think it was going to affect her much more. Is success going to change you? Well, I hope not. <laughs> but, no, I would like to think it wouldn't. I mean, of course it will in a way. We're all going to change because our lives are going to change so dramatically, I hope, if we do well. But um, I wouldn't want it to change me and I don't think, I think I'm strong enough to stay the same person inside. Mel C was probably, of all of them, the one, I would say, who was most irritated by the sort of level of celebrity and the kind of things that brought with it. I think it must have been incredibly frightening to be that famous, that young, and to have world domination. But I'm sure on the inside, you're just going, what is going on? She got all sorts of rather hurtful kind of comments that she was plain spice or ugly spice or even worse, you know, whatever it was. And I think that for a young girl, that must have been very hurtful. They're gonna make it happen now. Now. The time is right for us to As the most musical Spice Girl, it wasn't long before Mel C, like Jerry before her, saw her future outside the band. She did feel slightly alienated by the music they were putting out, which was very important to her. And I sensed very early on that she had started to plan her solo moves. First of all, I'm not here to talk about the Spice Girls. I'm here as Melanie C. She's a singer's singer. Singing and songwriting is the love of her life. That's what she always wants to do. I think she was probably more impatient to move on and more realistic, possibly, about the, the real prospects of the group continuing. As for the Spice Girls, nobody's left the Spice Girls. They are still together. We're all pursuing solo careers, and that's all that I'm, I'm about to say on that subject. I think the difficulty probably for Melanie was just being in a group where there's four other people and, you know, you want to spread your wings and you just can't because you're confined to this little role. As the Spice Girls limped into the new millennium with the release of their final album in 2000, Mel C's unhappiness in the band became very public. She's always been a bit of a loose cannon when it comes to, uh, you know, presenting a, f a united front to the press. Sporty Spice has told an American interviewer, I've not been comfortable being in the Spice Girls for the last two years. I think that that side of it all came to a head during the, um, the launch party for the third album, Forever. She put on quite a good display for the photographers and it was obvious that, uh, that something was pretty, pretty seriously amiss. Shortly after the third album stalled at number two, the band called it a day and Mel C was free to pursue her solo career full time. Those in the know aren't shocked she's now the most reluctant Spice. 
you can see she's more comfortable doing the music that she's doing now, not necessarily playing this character that she was back then. I suspect the only reason probably why she finally agreed to this, other than the reported threat that they were going to go ahead without her anyway, was the thought that actually it might not be such a bad thing to kind of raise her personal profile. If Mel C lacks appetite for the reunion, 